In this video, we'll learn how to update data in a database using Entity Framework Core in a Blazor web app in .NET 8. And we'll use the edit form component in Blazor to accept input data. This video is in continuation to my previous three videos in the playlist where I show how to create a database, save data, and read data. Let's add a method to the iBook repository interface to get a book by ID so that we can then update that book. So in the application project, expand the interfaces folder and double click iBook repository and say task of book, make it nullable, get by ID async, int ID. Also let's add a method to update that book. So say task, update async, book, book. Let's implement these two methods in the infrastructure project. So in the infrastructure project, expand repositories and double click the book repository class. Let's implement the interface and inside get by id async method, say var book equals await context dot books dot first or default async. E goes to e dot id equals equals id. Then let's return that book and inside update async method, say context.entry book dot state equals entity state dot modified and then await context dot save changes async. Let's work on the presentation layer. In the simple book catalog project, open the book card component and after the div with the class book card body, define a div with the class actions and inside that define an anchor element with the text edit and for the href attribute value we need to get the id of the current book so let's use a razor expression so say at open and close parentheses since we want to pass in a string along with the dynamic value let's use string interpolation say dollar within double quotes slash edit slash within curly braces book dot id and finally set the class attribute to btn, btn warning, shadow none. Now let's style this book card dev so that there is some space between the book card body dev and the actions dev. So right click the components folder and select add new item and search for CSS and click style sheet and name the file bookcard.razor.css. So let's use the class selector say dot book dash card within curly braces display flex flex direction row justify content space between let's run the app we can see the list of books along with their corresponding edit buttons let's try clicking one of them we can see it takes us to a url slash edit slash three the value three is the id of the third book we are editing since we don't have a page for this endpoint, we get a 404 not found error. So now let's implement the edit page. So go back to Visual Studio and right click the pages folder and select add razor component and name the component edit and click add. At the top here, specify the page directive. Say at page within double quotes slash edit slash. Now this URL segment will be the ID of the book we are editing. So for this, we need to use what is known as a route parameter. So use curly braces and within that specify a route parameter called ID and let's constrain the route parameter to be an integer. So say colon int. Remove the heading. Use the page title component and set the content to edit book. Let's go to the code block now. The value of the route parameter in the URL can be retrieved by defining a public property with a similar name and decorating it with a parameter attribute. So let's define a public property of type int called id. Casing does not matter, so we can make i uppercase and decorate it with the parameter attribute. Now once we have the id of a particular book, we would like to get information about that book. So let's define a public property of type book, make it nullable and call it book. And when we update this book, the data for this book will come from the form that we'll create in just a bit. So let's decorate this property with supply parameter from form attribute. Also, let's inject iBook repository 
So at the top here, say at inject ibook repository repository. Once the edit page is initialized, we want to use a repository to get the information about that book so that it can be displayed on a form. So override the on initialized racing lifecycle method and inside that say book and use the null coalescing assignment operator question mark question mark equals await repository dot get by id async id and now let's add the required razor markup for the form say at if book is not null we can reuse a markup from the add new component so go to the add new component copy this entire div and go to the edit component and paste it here let's make some changes set the form name of this edit form component to edit book form and for the on valid submit parameter set the value to edit book we'll create this method in just a bit replace the heading text with edit book and use a razor expression to evaluate the id of the book since this is an edit scenario let's use a hidden input field to store book id so say input type equals hidden name equals book dot id value equals at book dot id now let's define the edit book method so go to the code block and say private async task edit book and inside that say if book is not null await repository dot update async book now once we update the book we need to redirect the user to the list page so at the top here say at inject navigation manager navigation and go back to the edit method and say navigation dot navigate to slash now let's run the app first let's add a dummy book so that we can test editing it book title 123 book author 123 enter some publication date and set the category to science and click submit so here we see we got the book with the title book title 123 added let's try editing it click on the edit button update the title to book title 456 and the author as well to book author 456 and set the category to travel and click submit and here we see we got the title and author updated and if we click on the edit button we see we have the category set to travel as well so that's it for this video hope you found the video useful thanks for watching